Up, dude, why are you? Why are you our biggest hater, though? Why? Because they don't subscribe to my channel. Oh, because they don't subscribe to your channel? No. Okay. Good morning, fam. I'm alive. I'm blessed. I'm ready. Let's go. Um, we're on our way to go get a workout in a little pierna day. I want him to. I want, I'm just joking. I, I, I want. I want. I want. Um, my 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 puppy to be more subscribers. Oh, baby, <laughs> that melts my heart, man. But y'all heard him. He said he wants he wants you guys to subscribe. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, Mason said subscribe. <laughs> no, I was just incredibly grateful for the ones that have so far though fam. We made it to 10k. What? Baby, we made it to 10k. Say A. Hey. <laughs> um so yeah, we're on our way to the gym. Ugh, guys, I know we kind of told you guys maybe like two vlogs back that we've been inconsistent and just kind of not feeling it and it's very rare. It's a new vlog. Watch it. Hold on, Bubba, I'm talking. It's very rare. But yeah, there's a new vlog. Go watch it. Hey! <laughs> I love you, baby. I'm sorry, okay? I don't mean to cut you off. Cut? What? Cut <laughs> He ain't worried about nothing. That's how you gotta be. Something faces you. I'm worried about nothing. Somebody tries to face you. You gotta be worried. Nuh-uh. We don't listen to them haters. Huh, Bubba's? We, we look past those haters. Huh, Bubba's? You should have talked about this later. Okay, should we just go? Yeah. All right, fam. Like Mason said, I'm talking too much. So, all right, I'm gonna end it here. We're gonna go ahead and go to the gym. Um, just send me some good vibes. Send me some some prayers of strength that I can get back into it. Guess what, fam? So I just created a profile on Rover.com to um. <laughs> my picture to become a dog sitter. I'm so excited guys. I seriously am so excited about this because look this is my profile I'm excited because of course I had to put that picture of me and Ron as my profile pic But I'm excited because as you guys know Well, if you if you guys uh, watched our Q&A, I think it was our second Q&A um, I actually had a job at a pharmaceutical research clinic where I was making pretty decent um money and um i decided to leave it it was actually not that long ago that i decided to quit i was working there for four years but honestly the last year for me was just miserable guys um miserable like when i say miserable i have to say it is just the most miserable i have felt um i think in a while I was, I was trying to think like when was the last time that I felt just that unhappy with, with something. And when you're at a point, whether it's a job, a relationship, uh, anything, that you are just so unhappy and so miserable, you need to leave. I'm telling you that right now. You need to figure it out and leave. And I remember for the last year, I would cry all the time. Just I'm not going to go into details as to why I was so miserable at that job because I almost feel like it's not right to kind of bash on a place that did serve me for a time. I talked to Martin about it, we spoke about it. Financially, will we be okay? Yes, 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 let's do it. Um, I told him about my future goals because I, you know, you, when you do something, you always have to go into it with something else. So I told him what I actually want to do. And as my dreams and my vision became clear, it, it, what I didn't want also became clear. So it was easy to almost leave, you know what I mean? Martin's all about supporting my happiness, bless that man. And he's like, you know, I, I hate seeing you like this. I hate seeing you cry. It's not healthy. Let's get you out of there. Um, so that's what I did. I got out of there. But um, as you guys know now, I'm in school because I want to be a CPT. The process is taking so much longer than what I wanted it to because they had a gap in their system. I wasn't able to enter assignments. It was just a mess. It, it truly was literally just a mess. But I could, I'll talk about that in another vlog. 
Um, and I'm just kind of at home now and homeschooling Mason and focusing really on Mason and focusing on what it is that I want to do YouTube. And I'm happy, guys. I'm so happy. I truly am. But um, Christmas is coming up and... I don't know I feel like I feel like I've been thinking a lot to myself and I've been like if there's a way that I can help my family now and it's not taking on clients because I'm sorry guys I'm not taking on clients right now and I won't for a while until I can get my CBT and guess what guys I found this website rover.com and I created my profile and I am now a hired <laughs> dog sitter and I'm so excited guys I'm so excited about this you set up your own schedule you can have dogs spend the night <laughs> um, you can have dogs come over so you're like a dog sitter guys this is so exciting like I can't even tell you how ecstatic I am like this is so perfect for me so I'm super excited and the crazy thing is guys on top of that something else happened so one of, one of my girls, she's actually an operations manager at a commercial gym nearby. And she said that their kids care is hiring. And she said that she would allow me to actually take Mason in with me when I'm working and he could stay there, you know, and just hang out with the kids and when they read and have book time, read with the kids. And guys, that's just so freaking amazing. Like, I was like, what? Like, that's, that's perfect for me you know what I mean because at first I was like yeah am I gonna be able to take Mason though and she's like yeah so with that being said um I'm pretty ecstatic about that I'm still obviously going to be I'm freelancing at this lady's like home gym if that makes sense like she's trying to grow it and by freelancing all I'm really doing is shadowing her as a business owner as a personal trainer and that's an amazing opportunity so I'm still going to be doing that and I'm still going to be helping mother age so my schedule is going to be maybe a little bit fuller and I'm kind of scared about that. But I'm also really excited and I don't know, I'm, I'm grateful. I really am. This is such, I don't know, it's such a cool opportunity, you know. Um, I'm not just doing it for the money, but I mean, Mason will be out there with other kids. It's just, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm seriously just really happy. I don't know. It's going to be like a whole new routine. So I'm kind of nervous about that too because... I'm probably gonna have to go back to working out at 4 or 5 a.m. before I go into work. One thing I do wanna say is, I hope I can inspire you guys to um, leave whatever it is that you're not happy. Okay, gotta go clean a booty, I'll be right back. But what I was saying is, I hope that I can encourage you guys and just inspire you guys to leave what no longer serves you guys. Um, obviously, like I said, I was making decent money at this job but it is not worth my happiness. Nothing in the world is worth your happiness. Martin, don't edit this out because I'm talking to the fam on a very serious note and level here. Um, so at first it may seem like you're selfish, you know what I mean? That was a thought that went through my head, like am I being selfish? But no guys, um, the more you get a sense of, of self-love and who you are and what you're worth and what you want, the more clear everything else becomes. I don't know guys, I just hope that you guys find it in you to not stay in situations, in places, or even with people who just don't make you happy regardless of, of, regardless of what's in it for you that may seem beneficial. If it's not making you happy, it's not worth it. You stay at home moms are so incredible. Like that's just, you guys are incredible. I, I, I've never been a stay-at-home mom until just recently that you know that I haven't been working. And you guys are something else. And I hope none of you guys ever diminish your worth or think you aren't valuable because you're not working because I think you have the toughest job of them all. Dealing with your beautiful babies all day. Handling your beautiful babies all day. You're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a chauffeur, you're a chef every single day and, and that's something that oh and you're a counselor and you're i don't know you're everything you're everything every single day every single minute every single hour of your life and that is not easy guys that's not easy dads who work and who your wifeys are at home hug her tight it's not easy tell her you appreciate her because i'm telling you i haven't been one until just recently kudos ha you know what I'm even taking my hat off and looking bald and crazy for you, for you guys. 
Hats off to you, mama's okay. Now I look crazy when I put this back on. I'm excited. I hope Martin doesn't edit out any of this out. I know it's so much talking in this vlog, but I guess I just had a lot to say. And please don't edit it out, babe. Please, please. I know you're gonna be like, hey, you talk so much. Ain't no telling what I'm finna be on. I'm beyond all that folks. Hey. Hey, little mama, would you like to be my sunshine? New touch my game, we gon' turn this shit to Columbine. I saw my Mason! It's time to eat. Sit down, please. I know you've never had a salad before, Papa's, but I think today's the day. We're gonna do this, dude. You gonna, you gonna need those to get you by? Yeah? Oh, two, oh, three drinks to get you by the salad? Huh? Yeah. It's good, dude. Give it a try. Don't ever say you don't like something unless you've tried it. I wish my parents would have done that to me, to be honest, because I'm such a picky eater now. <laughs> Hold on. It smells good. It doesn't smell good? No. Can you open this? Mason. Bubba's. What does it smell like? Pea and jelly. Pea and jelly. This is Mason's first salad ever, folks. First? Folks. Ah. Folks. <laughs> folks. Mason, stop. <laughs> what do you want to say to the folks? Folks, um, um, I'm not sure I don't like salad. Mason, stop. It's disgusting. No, don't be rude. We don't call food disgusting. Take your first bite. <laughs> Mason, stop being an overdramatic diva right now. Thank you. <laughs> Mason, this is not funny at all. That's too much. Mason, stop. I'm dead serious. That's too much, mommy. Too much lettuce? Yeah, this may eat one. Okay, fine. Fine. No one, one. Fine. Down it with some apple juice. Okay. Do whatever you gotta do, boo. <clears throat> do whatever you gotta do, but you're eating the salad. Mason looks a hit as puppy. It looks mean. Can you open all of them? Open all of them? <laughs> it tastes like paper. <laughs> it tastes like paper? Mm -hmm. Well, the human vacuum doesn't think uh. so. Ugh, guys. So, this is actually how me and Mason spend our nights, our afternoons. We have dinner alone. I miss your puppy. You miss your dad? Yeah. It sucks guys, Martin's schedule is the worst. Literally the worst. It's from, I was gonna say 6 to, <laughs> it's not from 6 a.m. to 9. It's from 9 a.m. to around, from 9 a.m. to 6.30, but honestly he's a manager and he gets home about half an hour to sometimes an hour later sometimes and it's just, it's rough guys, it really is. Um, I tell Martin this, but I feel like he doesn't like to talk about it because uh, we used to get in fights about it, to be honest, his schedule, which is pretty dumb because it's like he's hustling, he's grinding for us. I don't know why we're getting in fights, but I would just cry and just be like, I miss you so much. And he'd be like, I'm working with you guys. And I, I think he, like what he ended up saying to me once was, I get mad because <clears throat> you make it harder on me as if it wasn't already hard enough for me. And I'm like, you're right. So I kind of, I'm over, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm over it, because it still sucks a lot. Me and Mason have dinners by ourselves, we pretty much spend the entire day by ourselves, which is why you see, um, and, we, me, and we only have one day off together, which is on Sundays. It's all about the sacrifice and the hustle and staying focused to one day make it um, to where we want to be. Um, I hope to one day be a full-time family, that would be the biggest blessing of her life um man like 
to just picture us being a full-time family would be just, oh my gosh. The image in itself is just, just makes my heart so happy. I couldn't imagine. I feel bad because I feel like sometimes our vlogs suffer because of it. There's not a lot of us time, guys. There's really not he dad and Mason. He makes me mad. Time. Don't subscribe to his channel. Puppy makes you mad? No, you. Why? You're the one who fighting with him. I'm not fighting with him. Yes, you are. He always thinks I'm fighting with his dad. He always sides with his dad. That's why I'm gonna have a daughter, dude. So she can side with me. I'm gonna have a daughter so she can side with mama. You're rude. Is puppy here? Is puppy here? Martin! They say daddy is home. He home for good. Martin! Yeah. Where you at? You taking a duke or what? They say Tico is home. It's been a rough day today, dude. I'm I know, so for me out. too, dude. Hmm? We've missed you. Know, you haven't been on the vlog at all. Out. I'm stressed out too. I feel like, and I kind of expressed it in the vlog a little bit. I did tell him that, that, that I got, I might get a job. I did tell him that I might, I might get a job. They call me Johnny, Johnny Bravo at, at work. Dude. Really? Why? Because of my hair. Like, you look like Johnny Bravo. Martin, I'm gonna be a working gal, which means I'm gonna get to see you even less now because I'll probably be working from 4 p.m. to the time it closes. Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah, if I don't get the morning shift. Dude, the thing is 4 to 8. No, so it depends. There's two times. There's either 4, yeah, four, 4 to 8 or... Well, hopefully she, she'll hook you up, you know. Well, we'll see, no? I've told him I feel like our vlog suffers because I told him, like, I don't get to see you that much. And I really don't, even though he said, yeah, we do. We only have one day off together, Martin. And people people you. always say, like, it's always me in the vlog. Yeah, people say Yeah, that. because it mostly is. I'm always working. Exactly. So your son, uh, he won today. He won what he meant he won? He won because I made him a salad, his first salad ever. Mm -hmm. And he was choking on every single leaf, so I just... How to meet the rice and the black beans and the ch and the chicken? So he didn't eat his salad. You see the video. Is, is he he likes a stressed out mom or what? I don't know if he's gagging after each lettuce leaf he leaves. It's I know, but ridiculous. You, you let him pass or what? Yeah, I was just, yeah, I did. I let him pass. I feel like he won. Exactly. Stop, cause now I'm gonna go make him eat that salad. Stop, just don't be rude. <laughs> Back there. So, like this. Yeah, go. The lady eats food from the trash. 